So my name's Tom, I work at the University of uh, West of England uh, during the week and during the weekends I am a crew chief for LSP Supermoto. My background is in uh, BSB paddocks, setting up bikes, working with teams and uh, shooting, mapping engines on the dynos. So my, my opinion of the AIM Taipan ECU is it's a fantastic piece of kit. So much potential for, for what it is. Uh, it's very new to the market but what it's gained us already is incredible. It works so easily, it's plug and play with the lap time of the Solo 2 DL and it logs and the riders get so much benefit out of it, so much benefit out of it. It's brought the bikes up to the next level. Where originally we were mapping the standard ECUs and we were kind of fixed to what we could do with what they get, let us touch, whereas the AIM just unlocked everything. Um, we could uh, adapt the ignition timing per gear, fueling per gear. We could adjust even down to the finite detail of the sensor voltages, which you can't normally do on, this, on the standard ECU. I would advise to buy the AIM ECU the Taipan ECU to begin with, with the handlebar switch and the quick shifter. The main reason for that is because that will improve your lap times by two seconds a lap, I guarantee it. Just because of the seamless gear changes. The handlebar switch giving you multiple access to every feature of the AIM ECU. Um, me being at the pits and the paddock, we can plug it in and, and uh, talk to the ECU, adapt it to your riding style and make it actually quite personal to you. Uh, the Solo, do t uh, Solo 2 DL would be the next, uh, the next purchase I would recommend to anyone, especially if they're struggling with lap times or improving themselves when they're on their own on track because it gives them something to chase. When using the, uh, the AIM ECU on a, on a dyno, the mapping is fantastic. It, it's so quick and easy to, to, to change something and it highlights as you go. So as you're mapping, you don't lose track of where, you, where you've been. The menus are, uh, are spelled out exactly what they are. So if you're looking for the injection map or map one, it's spelled out exactly as map one, injection one. So it, it's there, it's written pl plain in sight rather than having to hunt through menus looking for it. Try not to be biased. The AIM ECU would be what I'd recommend, uh, should your budget allow it. Uh, it's, it's not an expensive upgrade and it's actually a, a, a really good benefit for most people. Um, at Supermoto, the SP Quick Shifter, the box that it comes with as standard isn't notoriously good for crashing. It doesn't last very well when it's been crashed. Whereas the AIM ECU with it built in, the, it's very cost effective where it's built into the ECU. So if you, if you want to improve and you want to save yourself a bit of money and you want reliability, you go AIM ECU by far. And the kit and support you get from AIM and anyone really that works with the AIM software is fantastic.